NASA has recorded the biggest solar flare in the last 12 years as the sun unleashed an X-class flare on September 6th. The flare, which peaked at 8.02 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, caused a radio blackout following the shock arrival of radiation from the sun. The solar flare was the largest recorded since September 2005 when an X-17 was released. A X-class represents the most intense solar flares with an X-2 being twice as intense as an X-1. The largest solar flare ever recorded was an X-20 in April 2001. The latest flare, an X-9.3, was the second in a series of solar flares with another smaller X-2.2 recorded three hours earlier. Both were captured by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, which is constantly monitoring the sun in its activity. Harmful radiation from a flare cannot pass through Earth's atmosphere to physically affect humans on the ground. However, when intense enough, they can disturb the atmosphere in the layer where GPS and communication signals travel, the space agency had said in a statement. The strong geometric storm warning issued by NASA is, as of September 7th, still in effect and will continue to be over the next few days. This is an anticipation of arrival of the coronal mass ejection associated with the X9.3 flare. Analysts indicate likely CME arrival late on September 8th into early September 9th, NASA said. CMEs and solar flares are different, but often occur at the same time when it comes to the stronger solar flares. Both are created when the sun's interior contorts its own magnetic fields. As the magnetic fields snaps like a rubber band, it releases a large amount of energy into space. The flash of light and high energy particles released is a solar flare, while the solar matter from the magnetic contortions are CMEs. Now a huge storm in 1859 known as the Carrington event caused telegraphic systems across Europe and North America to fail and auroras associated with these solar winds could be seen as far south as the Caribbean. If a similar size storm hit today, it is estimated it could cost around $2 trillion after it does catastrophic damage to our electronic systems. What do you think? Is the sun within the next 6 to 12 months going to release a gigantic X-class flare aimed at Earth? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.